Hi, I'm Kathy Thomas. I'm with renowned chef and restaurateur Thomas Keller. Thomas has a new book out that focuses on home cooking. Tell us about Ad Hoc at Home. Well, we have we have a restaurant in, in Yonville mm -hmm. called Ad Hoc, and uh, it's it's all about family style dining, mm -hmm. uh, foods that we uh, were familiar with in our childhood, some of us, um, and we translate this um, uh, the menus from Ad Hoc to our new cookbook, Ad Hoc at Home. So, bringing the food from our restaurant to your home. Fabulous, and you're going to start with striped bass. This is one of my, my, my favorite preparations for fish. It certainly is a, is a bit ambitious, um, but something that results, I think, in one of the most flavorful, moist fish preparations that I know. We're going to encrust it in salt. How are you going to start? Well, we're, we want to take off some of the fins so that we right. have it. So, that, so we're going to take off just by clipping these off very quickly, very simply. Any pair of kitchen shears will right. do. Right, and you're using a little muscle on that. Oh, well, sometimes. <laughs> and then we're going to dry the fish, remove some of that moisture. One way that I like to dry the fish, and something that we, we do over the French laundry, what we'll do is we'll, we'll scrape it this way. And ah. Try to agitate that, that, that moisture that's underneath the skin, and then bring it back this way like a squeegee. You see all that water that comes Oh, yes. Yeah, see that? So that's a little added technique there for you to dry that, to dry that skin that's even more. That's a great technique. And you can feel how, how much of that moisture has come out of there now. It's just as dry as can be. Yeah. What we're going to do now, we have our orange, our lemon, some fennel, and some parsley. What we're going to do is we want to put it inside of our cavity here. So as that's baking in there, the aromas and the flavors from these beautiful aromats and, and citruses are mm -hmm. going to penetrate into the fish. So we're just going to cut that. We're going to put that inside there. We want to put a little salt in there as well. Okay. Not that there's going to be enough salt around the fish once we, get, <laughs> once we get the whole thing encrusted, right? But in the book, you note that, it, that <clears throat> the procedure doesn't really make the fish taste overly salty. No, it doesn't. No, because you've got you've got the skin here, so the skin uh -huh. is is protecting it. What the salt is doing is giving it another uh, almost its own individual oven, its own cooking vessel, if you will. So a few lemons. Browns, some orange rounds. Again, it's very simple. Layering those in different places. Okay, so we get it on both. You're really filling it pretty full, aren't you? Yeah, you want to, you want to have it nice and tight in there because you want to have the, the belly, which is now void of the entrails that was there. We want to right. fill it back up so that it keeps the maintains the ah, shape of the I fish. I see. And you're going to put some parsley in of there course, too? Of course, we'll put some parsley in mm -hmm. there. We're going to mix our salt crust here. So we have our kosher salt and our egg whites. So we've got four cups of kosher salt mm -hmm. and eight egg whites. We're just going to mix that. Now, sometimes you can even put aromats in here. Ah, oh, sure you could. You know, again, bay leaf, try mm -hmm. thyme, mm -hmm. uh, different kinds of spices, you know, depending on what you want to have. Again, the flavors that you want to have uh, perfume the fish. So we've got that nice and moist now. Now we're going to go ahead and Layer this onto our, our baking pan, our sheet pan here, a little bit. Okay, again, the size of the fish. And in your book, you say if you have a nice uh, oven-proof platter, it's nice to bake right on the oven. Right, if you have platter. a gratin dish, it works uh -huh. really, really well. Yeah. If you have the size of gratin dish that the fish is. I'm just gonna, you know what we're doing? I'm gonna cut his tail off. Ah. <laughs> ah. a little more room there. Yeah. You know, we don't really need his tail. So we're making about a half inch layer of salt here on the bottom. So far it looks easy. It is very simple. Would you do this at home? Absolutely. And I think in the book you said how nice it would be to top it with some grimolata. And oh. I thought your grimolata was so interesting because it has breadcrumbs in it. The perfect, the perfect kind of crunchiness that you get, the flavors from the garlic and the lemon, crunchiness from the breadcrumbs. And I think you said that saffron rice was a, a nice accompaniment. It, it is a beautiful accompaniment to this. So we really encase them well in salt. It's about ready to go in the oven. And you advise home cooks to um, Turn the pan after 20 minutes, yes, halfway through right, cooking. Exactly. In it goes. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Great. Okay, so we come out of our oven. You can see it's it's hard. It's hard. 
going to crack it. Okay. Look at that. Just peel it away. And it would be so much fun if you had it in a gratin dish and could do this at the table. At the table. Drama. Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and pull off the skin. The skin's coming off. You can see how moist that is. It's beautiful. Mm. I'm just separating the uh -huh. top filet from the meat, from the bone. You can see that. It smells delicious, doesn't it? Mm. Just a gorgeous way to eat a piece of fish. Of course, you want to be careful not to touch the salt. Right. With the with the. But with you've the peeled meat. it back really yes. well. How many people would you think uh, this dish would Two to four, serve? depending depending how hungry you are. Two mm -hmm. to four people. Or one. <laughs> <laughs> so one. out comes the backbone. Mm -hmm. And all those little bones attached. Mm -hmm. And basically, what you've got left here is boneless. Boneless. It is gorgeous. And, and it smells it just heavenly. smells so sweet. I don't blame you. Mm. Anything for me? Mm. Mm. All right. Oh. Now you see how mm. moist that fish is, huh? And it has wonderful flavor. And it's not the least bit over salted. Salted. Nope. So there we no. have it. It's beautiful, Thomas. If we had some gremolata, we'd just sprinkle that right on top. It's beautiful. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.